gotta find your people, the ones that make you feel all right. The kind you wanna stay up with all night. You gotta find your people, the ones that make you feel whole. We're going to the national championship. You won't leave your side when you lose control. The ones that don't let you lose your soul. So the court is going to go over here on the north side of the field, um, just on the north of the Tiger Hawk. We really wanted the team to have their team benches where they can look up at the scoreboard, still see the score, see what's going on. Um, all of our closest fans will be in the north. Back in 2017, we created a, a new tradition called the Hawkeye Wave. And after the first quarter, it's the best tradition in college athletics. All of our fans in Kinnick Stadium turn and they wave over at the UI. Stead Family Children's Hospital, and I cannot wait for the crossover at Kinnick for everybody to turn over and look at the hospital and wave at all the kids up there. Yeah, this, this event is gonna be so memorable um, for all the Hawkeyes, um, for all the kids up in the hospital. Um, our team does such an incredible job. Head coach Lisa Bluter has started something that cannot even be explained. Um, we have such incredible fans and to fill Kinnick Stadium and, and welcome everybody here to this event is gonna be so memorable. I think you top a year like last year by not trying to meet anybody else's expectations but your own. Knowing that we fell short of a national championship last year, obviously that is in our minds, but Coach Bluter always instills taking it one day at a time. When I think about this year, I think, one, it doesn't need to be what last year was. We aren't going to be what we were last year. That's not a fair assessment of what we can do, but we can be different and we can be just as good as we were, but it's going to be different. I mean, we have people that are going to need to step up. People who may not have had as many minutes last year that are going to have to grow into their own role. And I mean, we're, we're excited. We've got girls that can compete and want to be in the game, want to be on that court. And We're going to do our own thing. We're going to see where that takes us. I think our everyday, day-to-day -day goal is getting 1% better. Each day we're not focused on getting to the national championship. Obviously it's in our minds and you got to work hard every single day like you are playing for the national championship tomorrow or whatever it may be. But each day we're just trying to get 1% better and we're just focusing on what we have at practice each day and what's in our circle. And so we want to get better and what can we do to win our first game, win our first exhibition game. That's our goal. Okay. Real quick. So, what do you think this game represents? The crossover at Kinnick game, what it means to us, it's definitely a lot bigger than just basketball. I love being on stage. It doesn't like scare me out. Like, it scares a little, but it's not a lot. My name is Christy. I am 12 years old and I live in Coralville in Iowa. 
I, I like to make people laugh, smile, cry because I just like to like see what I can do on impact on people. My favorite sport is swimming. I, I used to be on the swim team. I like like the good sportmanship, like being helpful to others and saying like good job. When I got sick, I stopped swimming. She had little pain in her above her knee. Uh, so we went to the doctor to check it out. And um, it appears that it was cancer. I got diagnosed at, at 10 years old and um, with osteosarcoma. We have saying with Christy that she's doing hard stuff with smile. I started doing chemotherapy, 18 cycles, and then I had a leg, um, a femur bone and knee replacement. After a while, we discovered that her cancer moved to her lungs. So during last year, she had four lungs surgery. Every time when they remove spots and we were like, okay, it's, it's done. Then again, new starts showing up. And now it came back in my scapula and um, my rib. So we're figuring out what we're gonna do with that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been hard, but we just um, have to keep doing it. And I understand that saying now, one day at a time. You're just hoping that when you get those good news, that it's gonna change in your life what's happening right now. So I get to be kid captain for the crossover event in Kinnick. I don't know what I do as kid captain, but I'm excited to find out. First of all, I did not know that we were gonna have a kid captain, but that's super cool to find out. I think the way we've intertwined the football traditions with the basketball traditions, it's gonna be super cool and something that Hawk fans have never experienced, that nobody has experienced. So it's gonna be cool to be able to put the two of those together. It almost brings tears to my eyes to think about it. And I'm sure there will be some tears that day because it's so meaningful when you're at a football game and you have 70,000 people. And we've been a part of that so many times as spectators, we've been in the stands. And now as people that are actually competing, we get to be able to part of that. We get to have our own kid captain. We get to be able to wave to those kids. Yeah, yeah, this is my first time I'm always like, watching the wave from the hospital. So this is gonna be my first time like actually being in the wave and waving at the kids in the hospital. That's really exciting because I know how like they feel. So I'll, I'll try to wave as much as I can during that. So they know that like everyone's there for them. I'm gonna wave like this, like ha, like crazy as much as I can. You never imagine, you never picture yourself before that you will be on the other side. You always picture yourself that you will be supporting someone or helping someone, but you never think you will be a person who needs support. There are people out there fighting for a lot more and a lot harder than just to win a basketball game and those are those kids in the children's hospitals. It's something bigger than basketball as well that day. I mean we're playing to raise money for the children's hospital so I think it puts it in perspective of how lucky we are to be playing this sport with the people we love every day and I mean we're really excited to play. It's gonna be a lot more people than like when I'm on stage but that's okay. I'm super excited for the game. But you guys did good. We did good? Okay. Yeah. Mom is talking too much. <laughs> yeah, and mom, you could talk less and dad can talk more. Okay. But other than that, other than couple, that you know. it was really good. You want to say cup? <laughs>